In the spring of 1776, George Washington and the Continental Army arrived in New York to defend it from an imminent British attack. From aboard his floating office, the governor of New York, William Tryon, sat as the kingpin of a crime ring founded on counterfeiting and espionage. With the British forces still 800 miles away, Tryon and New York City Mayor David Matthews developed a plot to bring a swift conclusion to the American Rebellion by killing George Washington. Although Tryon and Matthews did not have armies, they did have money and power. They targeted Americans inside and outside the Continental Army who could be persuaded to cooperate with the obviously winning side and make a bit of money at the same time. One such man was Thomas Hickey, a chosen member of Washington's personal bodyguard. Tryon's plot began to unravel after Hickey was arrested on counterfeiting charges and while imprisoned got chatty with a fellow prisoner. The plot was confirmed by an iron mill foreman who learned of the plan after pretending to be a loyalist among his workers. Of those part of the conspiracy, only one man was executed, Thomas Hickey, who was publicly hanged for treason on June 28, 1776.